friends. Hello. It's Johnny, Danielle, and Danny. Danielle, <laughs> Danny, uh, my wonderful fiance. <laughs> We're yeah. here to review High C Ecto Cooler. So we got this badass Ecto Cooler kit from our friends at High C. And we got a nice little lovely letter with it. I'll just read you the first paragraph. In celebration of the release of Ghostbusters Afterlife, only in movie theaters, November 19th, Coca-Cola has made an exclusive commemorative drop of the iconic high C Ecto Cooler. So this was highly sought after. Mm -hmm. uh, it's backlit by a glow cube that I got at Disneyland. So it's not really, it didn't come with the kit, but it, it makes it look so much cooler to be backlit like that. So um, it took me a few weeks to get their attention over Instagram. And I think they were doing it over Twitter and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of people, to say the least, a lot of people wanted this. And um, I didn't have any any high hopes. I just thought I'd give it a try. Tried several times. Like I said, a few, it took me a few weeks and a few tries to get their attention in different ways. I don't know which one actually worked. Um, so my Instagram is Retro Toyverse. If you want to check it out but that's the one that got featured uh, i did some toy photography with the, these guys these afterlife stuffed animals <laughs> i thought they were over here <laughs> slimer <laughs> and uh chomper right yeah i think so yeah. he does that throughout the movie right so. favorite. and then uh stay puff mini so we got these from amc online uh because uh we didn't have a cinemark in our area so they were think of they were being sold over the counter in Cinemark, uh, so I found them on AMC online. So this was a bundle, so like 14, 15 bucks, which is awesome. So we also have some Ghostbusters Stay Puff brand marshmallows, and we got these from Walmart. Uh, from far away from home, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where we got them from. It was, we, like, it was like Oceanside. I, I think. can tell. You. Yeah, we happened to be in San Diego for a weekend, and then we checked um, checked a Walmart in the area, and that's where they were. <laughs> so we got the mini puffs as well as the regular marshmallows, and we're gonna taste test these as well after the ecto cooler. But anyway, how, I just want to know how you enjoyed Afterlife the Ghostbusters Afterlife film, because we did see Me? that in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about um, it? I really liked it. I really liked that there was um, a female lead character, um, and her friend was really funny, and I really liked um, the tribute at the end. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but if you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's yeah. really good. I cried. <laughs> I honestly was, <laughs> I was holding back tears, and that doesn't happen a lot in films. Because I'm usually a very resilient when it comes to that stuff, but it was so sad. I was getting choked up, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna not say anything more about that because it comes out on DVD and Blu ray very soon. So you guys check it out. I'll be buying a copy as well so we can put it up on Plex and we'll have all the whole Ghostbuster collection. Um, so let's look at this Ecto Cooler kit. So it's got some really cool. As you can see, it's probably going to fall out when I move it around. So I'm just going to take out the Ecto Cooler. Now take out the glow cube. And um, so here's the bottle. <laughs> and we're going to split it. Uh, and we're going to tell you guys how it is. And it's been quite a few years since I've had um, ex some Ecto Cooler. I don't think I've ever had it. It says citrus drink. Yeah, here, check it out. Citrus so. drink contains 10% fruit juice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and it also says Ghostbusters Afterlife. Back from the vault. Awesome. So Let's last time I had some Ecto Cooler was 2016 when uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call came out in theaters. And I did see that in theaters. And then I went and bought a lot of high C Ecto Cooler. And I still have um, like the box and... I have at least one juice box left over, but I had a whole mini fridge stocked of, of the Ecto Cooler. I so I, that. yeah, I kind of remember <laughs> uh, how it tastes, but not really. So, but with the box, it just has some, some sort of like um, button design. It's not an actual button, but they're like button designs on here for Ghostbusters and Ecto Cooler. And then here we got the logos for High C and Ghostbusters. And we got mini puffed uh, designs throughout the box, and you got it on the side. 
And the back is really cute. And that's pretty much it. On the inside, it's just sort of like a, you know, it's cardboard folded in in an intricate way. And then you close it, and this sort of looks like closed. So it looks like almost like a Ghostbusters uniform. It's got like this strap around it. I think it's wonderful. I'm so glad that I was able to get a hold of one of these. Again, I didn't really have any hopes or anything of, of grabbing one. And Good job. <laughs> thanks, sweetie. <laughs> and I, I just I didn't think I was gonna get one, honestly. Um I didn't I don't think there was a prerequisite for them. I know a lot of people were thinking only influencers or very famous people would get them. You know, I'm not famous or anything, uh, but I, I am a Ghostbusters fan. And what I did was I tried a few things. I commented with sort of like a positive, nice request and, and also kind of made it kind of goofy in my own Johnny way and kind of weird and um, just asked them for some pretty much. And then after that, a couple, few days went by and I took some photos of my Ghostbusters action figures, which are the re-released Kenner figures. I took some photography with them, which you can see on Retro Toyverse. And then um, I went ahead. What else did I do? I messaged them. I actually like maybe like five days later. And then as a DM. Yeah, like I DM them and I didn't know again. I didn't know what to do. I was just doing things and I DM them a very nice, lengthy, almost essay about my experience with Ghostbusters and growing up with Ghostbusters, how it was the first movie I saw with my mom when I was very young, it was late night TV, and uh, how I went after watching the real Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters cartoon. I, uh, in the backyard, I made an impromptu uh, firehouse out of the garden shed, and I was like the only member of my own Ghostbusters club. So, so I told them all that stuff and how much it meant to me. And I, I don't know if that's what did it or if it was just the photography. Because then I went ahead and did another round of photography with the, with these stuffy, stuffies. And then, um, so I did all the all that pretty much. And then I, I just, one morning around 9 a.m., I got the DM from them. And uh, it was quite surprised. But anyway, let's get into trying this out. So, yep. Ecto cooler right here. Put it right over here on this side like that. Okay, we got some cups. Not Ghostbusters cups, but she's got her Taz cup. And I got my Food Fighters mug. I just noticed this says 1996. <laughs> this is from Six Flags in 1996. Okay, I'm nervous because after this, there's no going back. There's no more. It was vaulted again, and they're not going to be releasing it wide, as far as I know now. There's many rumors for that. I'm not going to get into the reason why, but I honestly don't know. But maybe, hopefully, this year, in 2022, I almost said 2023. <laughs> this year, in 2022, we could um, hopefully expect some more Ecto Cooler. I don't know. Hopefully, they, they bring it out. So, let's... We're gonna split it. I'm excited. Like, I just want you, can you smell it? I don't know, it's just kind of weird. What do you think it smells like? It smells green. Yeah, it smells <laughs> like, like lime, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna spill this all over my pants or something, because it's filled to the very top. Enjoy. Like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Matches. Okay, this sounds Slimer. weird. <laughs> okay. So we make sure we get uh, as equal as we can get because I know it's a mug and a cup. Okay, you can have more of it. Okay, I think it's that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry. Anyway, uh, it's there. It is. There it is. Okay. Okay. So this is our uh, this is all the extra cooler we have. <sighs> of course, I'm gonna keep this stuff. I know it's going for like five hundred something dollars on eBay, uh, but I can't bring myself to do that with this kit. So I'm gonna be keeping it because I do love Ghostbusters. All right, so let's try it without any further ado. Oh, at the same time. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Reaction time.
<laughs> mm, awesome. Like juice. Yeah. It's, yes, it tastes like nostalgia. It tastes like waking up on Saturday mornings and watching the real Ghostbusters. And we got some marshmallows here, so. We're going to get off. I still have a little bit left here. I'm just gonna. I just want to taste. How'd you like it, honey? It was really good. <laughs> you just chugged it. It's very good. Yeah. Mm. Which one do you want to open more. first? Can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Try these. Well, they taste like ordinary marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. But a they're they're little and they're cute. That's the bag say? The bag. I'm going to keep the bag anyway, but it's like ripped now. The other one, so, you should just cut it with scissors. It's too. got like, yeah, it's got, um... Have a recipe on it? It's got a recipe for, for uh, mm. Stay Puff Marshmallow Krispies in the Ooh, back. Rice um, Krispies. And, uh, yeah, I like Rice Krispie treats. So this wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be too hard to try out. Uh, and it says, okay. check out more uh, recipes on CampfireMarshmallows.com because these are the mm. brand of marshmallows. Do you want any more before I open the other ones? Yeah. Very good. So, let me finish this. <laughs> what does it taste like to you? Yeah, it tastes just like I remember it. Yeah, it just tastes rather good. And it's got like this uh, pale green slimy look to it. But uh, it doesn't taste like slime. It tastes like lime. <laughs> yeah. So these are the regular Stay Puft Marshmallows. So, these are pretty big. So guys, thank you for joining us. And we'll be back with some more reviews on any kind of weird candy, retro candy, cereal, anything like that. Then I'll bring Danny back and have some fun. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>